you have already heard it netflix launched their mobile only plan for india at 199 rupees per month so at 480p you can watch 3 hours of netflix at your current geo limit unless you get geo fiber either way it's going to reach more mobile devices and crank up that watch time and as you know we at techwiser believe if you use something frequently why not use it effectively so this is pratik from techwiser.com and here are some nifty tips and tricks for netflix mobile starting off to get the new plan head over to the netflix app and start your free trial obviously select the mobile only plan which will set you back 199 rupees Now that you have opened the app and registered you could see a lot of content and junk as well To give you a perspective Netflix launched 44 originals the previous month now who has the time to watch all of that For example I have heard good things about Drishyam so I can use Google Assistant to find the IMDb ratings Okay Google IMDb ratings for Drishyam Now this takes me to the IMDb website. Nah. A better way would be to use this Flutter app. It shows you the IMDb rating in the most unintrusive way so you can better understand what's worth watching and what's not. Like Drishyam has 8.3 so that's a green signal. I better download it for my commute. Like I personally don't pick movies less than 7 and for shows the bar is set at 8. By the way Flutter not only works for movies but also the series. Now that you have figured out some good movies to watch, why not expand it further with some good VPN apps? The thing with Netflix is the catalog is different for every country. For example, I want to watch Planet Earth but I'm not sure if it's on Netflix. It certainly is not on Netflix India. So I go to unox.com and search for the title Here you go Oh it's there but on Netflix Canada US and UK Now the rest is easy. All you need to do is use a VPN app, but not many VPN apps work with Netflix and we don't endorse any. But we here at Techwiser use Smart DNS proxy. So let's switch to Canada server. Now go back and reopen the Netflix app. and there you go you can also download it just make sure you don't switch on the internet while you're watching now that you have more shows to watch who will you watch it with your significant other i'll leave that to you so you can use this application called rave it's available for both android and ios just select the show you want to watch generate the url and share it with your just friends and both of you will have the same playback and fyi remember both of you will need a separate netflix account you can chat send emojis like this video and subscribe to the channel oh sorry you have to do that on youtube Yes, just like your Chrome browser, Netflix also has a watch history. Now, I'm not going to judge you, but if you want to delete your Netflix history, you cannot delete it through the Netflix app. For that, you will have to visit the activity section on the Netflix website. It even works on Chrome mobile. You can delete individual titles from your viewing history simply by hitting the X to the right of each listing. Since this is a techwise video we have to do this. Okay Google, open Stranger Things on Netflix. 
To do the same, you'll have to link your Netflix account with Google Assistant. Head over to videos and photos in the Google Assistant settings. Link your Netflix account and it's done. You can just ask Google to play any movie or serial on Netflix. In case you are overwhelmed by all these things and still confused what to watch, here is a website called Flixable. Like in my case, I don't want to spend time figuring out what to watch. I just go to flixable.com and set genre as thrillers with 8 and above IMDb ratings released after 2015. It gives you some really good suggestions like this one, The Invisible Guest. And while you're watching that video, let me know how you stream on Netflix. Mobile data or you have Wi-Fi in place. Anyways, that's it from my end. See you soon.